Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. Today we'll be discussing about files, files, file handling in C programming. So far the operations that we have been using in our C programming are done in a prompt or a terminal which is not stored anywhere. So the data that we are using for uh, running a program is not stored anywhere. You're just entering the data and the processing is done at that place and you're getting a you're getting the result. So the data that you have entered and the data that has been displayed is not stored anywhere. But when it comes to software industry, most of the programs are written to store the information fetched from programs. That is, we actually require data uh, that is to be stored somewhere. We cannot always enter large quantities of data in our prompt or terminals. So in such cases, we have to take the help of files. So files is a uh, file is the file is something which contains a large amount of data. So file can be defined as a sequence of bytes. It can be either a text file or a binary file. That is it can have text contents or it can have binary contents. Any types of data can be stored in file. So when you, a program is executed and terminated, the data that you have entered and the result that you have got is already lost. So to store the data that you have entered and the results that you have received, you require the help of files. So storing these data in a file will preserve your data even if your program has terminated. And also, it is easy to move the data from one system to another without making any changes. And if a person requires to make a change of his own, he can make changes to that in the file itself. So file can also be told as a named collection of data and this will be stored in your secondary storage. So your program is actually executed in your primary memory and the data that you are entered and the results that you, have, uh, that you will get will be actually temporarily stored in your primary memory and when the program is terminated or when you close a program the entire data is lost so here we have to take the help of files so that we can store the data and the data is stored in the files as a sequence of bytes a sequence of bytes and they are continuous data continuous set of sequential data is stored in files so files are used to store the data which can be used in your program as your input and also the output can also be stored in the files so that they can be analyzed later so basically there are two types of file the first type of files are text files and the second one is binary files so now moving on to text files as the name suggests no, text files are normal files that have the extension .txt that is the files that you uh, save using notepad word etc are called text files which has the extension .txt it is easy to edit and delete the contents of these text files and they contains only ascii codes that is the data can be accessed by using your ascii codes and it will take minimum effort to maintain these files and they are easily readable and but they'll provide the least security and takes bigger storage space okay so text files are files normal files with the .txt extension any type of data can be stored in the text files now coming to binary files image audio video executable files etc are called binary files and they have the extension dot bin so instead of storing data as text or numbers here in binary files the data are stored in the binary format that is only as zeros and ones so binary number format is the da is data type that is stored in your binary files that is you only have zero one zero one etc and they can have a huge number of data but they are not easily readable but they provide better security so binary files are those files which contain data in the binary forms they can be used to store large amount of data and provides higher security but reading from such files are not easy and image audio video and executable files comes under binary files 
now now moving on to pro file programs so when you are working with files in your c program you have to declare a file pointer and the file pointer will be of the type file so that is you have it means that here the statement means that file is the data type that is you are going to access a file and you are giving a pointer dot star fp is a file pointer so fp is a variable name you can give any name here but it is a pointer variable so you have to give the asterisk operator or the star operator so since we are specifying that we are going to work with files you have to declare a file pointer and that will be of the data type file so that your program knows that you are you are going to access our files so this is a declaration that is required when you are going to write programs where you are accessing the data from files or writing some data to the files now there are various operations that are possible on files so the typical operations are you can open a file you can read from the file you can write to the file and you can close the file that is you read the file first then you read the contents of files to variables in your program process that data using uh, your program and then return rewrite the data back into your files and then once the file is open you have to close the file so a file can be accessed by opening a file that should be the first process you have to open a file once you have opened the file you can read the contents from the file and these data that is read from the file can be stored in variables which are required which are declared in your programs and on these variables you can do all types of processing and after the processing is complete you can write all those data in the variables to your file and once the processing of file is completed you have to close the file so to open a file you use the function f open and there are many functions for reading and writing from files and to files and f close is a function that is used to close a file so now let's start with opening a file so opening a file as i said earlier is using the function f open that is file open that is f open and that is in the header file stdio.pt so before you are going to open a file you have to specify a file pointer using this file pointer you are going to access the file so first you declare a file pointer say star fp and now we are going to open so when you are opening you have to specify the name of the file that you are going to open that is the location of the file where the file is located what is the name of the file which drive your file is located what is the name of the file all should be specified in this file name so that is the first parameter of your f open function and then more that is the file can be uh, open for reading process file can be open for writing process can be open for both read and write process so what mode you are going to open a file so every file you have to be open first when you open it should be that should be stored into a file pointer and when you open you have to specify the location of the file including the name and also the mode the type of the mode in which you are going to open the file so the various modes for opening files are first one is r you have to specify r in the double quotes r means you are going to open the file for reading purpose only now you are going to write the file so this is for opening the file for writing purpose only and in one case when you are going to open the file in the write mode if that file is not declared that is if you have not created that file a new file will be created if you open a file in the w mode that is write mode if that file is not already created in your program the file with the name that you have specified will be created uh, by using the f open function that is if it does not exist a new file is created now a a is also for writing mode but that is called appending mode appending mode means you may have some data in the file from the next line onwards the data will be start appended to that that is called the appending mode 
writing means you can write to an empty file whatever content was previously there will be over it but in attending whatever content is there uh, whatever content is there is already stored and you're writing from the next line onwards in append mode also if you have not declared the file that file will be automatically created now next is r plus r plus is for both reading and writing r plus you can use it for both reading and writing so then next is w plus here uh, it opens a text file for both reading and writing. It first truncates a file to zero length if it exists. Otherwise, it will create a file if it does not exist. So, read R plus means you are just uh, opening for reading and writing. You can read and write to that file. But when W plus is uh, uh, used, it will be opening for both reading and writing. But what happens is whatever data was there in that file will be deleted from that. And also, if it is not there, if that file was not created earlier, that file will also be created. That will not happen in R+. So, R and R+, will not create a file if it does not exist. If it does not exist, it will say that there is an error. Similarly, A+, plus. A+, plus is also used for opening for reading and writing. It also creates a file if it does not exist and the reading will start from the beginning. But the appending uh, but the writing will only be appended that is whatever content was there will not be deleted it will only start from the next position from where you have a free space so that is what is done in uh, a plus so r is for read w is for write a is for append r plus is for reading and writing w plus is for both reading and writing and a plus is also for both reading and writing now an example to open a file so here we have declared a file pointer star fp all these example i used fb fp it's not compulsory that you have to use fp you can use any other variable name and i'm opening the file data.txt in the read mode so in read mode you have to check if fp is equal to null you have to always check whether fp is equal to null if fp is equal to null if the file pointer value is null it means that either the file does not exist or there is some error in opening the file so so always after you have opened the file you have to check whether the file pointer is equal to null if it is equal to null it means that either the file does not exist when in read mode otherwise there is some error so after that you have to close the file so for closing a file you just have to use the fclose function and inside the fclose function you have to specify the file pointer that you have created for a file so you have opened a file here uh, data.txt and that is accessed by using the pointer fp and to close it you have to use that same pointer only then this file data.txt will be closed otherwise the file will not be closed some other user can access that program so always when you open a file you have to close the file so to conclude files are used to store data that is when you run a program the data that is entered will be deleted after the program is terminated so to store data for pra for further use we require files so files are can be a uh, uh, file in files the data are stored continu continuously as bytes it is stored as bytes and various operations are possible in a files so to access a file you have to specify you have to specify the file pointer so with the help of file point only you can access a file and first process is opening a file so when you open a file you have to use the function fopen wherein you have to specify the file name that you're going to open and the mode where you're opening whether it is read write append whatever mode you're going to open you have to specify that also in your fopen function and the value will be and that should be pointed to your file pointer then you can do reading process you can do writing process and after that after the processing of the file is done you have to close the file using the fclose function and the file pointer of that particular file so that is about the basic introduction to files